But first, Arkansas's hospitalizations surpassed 1,000 today. It is the first time that number has ever been that high and comes right before a holiday that could cause that number to go up even more. Of the 1,028 people in the hospital fighting COVID-19, 400 are in the ICU and 191 are on ventilators. Meanwhile, health officials reported another 1,965 new cases of the virus today. The jump comes after a relatively busy day of testing. In the last 24 hours, more than 17,000 Arkansans were tested for COVID-19. And finally, 20 more people have died because of the virus. As of today, 2,425 Arkansans have died of complications from COVID-19. Officials are urging Americans to change their Thanksgiving plans as the coronavirus epidemic continues to rage nationwide. The head of Operation Warp Speed tells CBS News the first wave of vaccinations could begin as early as next month for those at high risk. As for the general population, here's the advice. U.S. population as a whole uh, should be covered in terms of vaccine doses available somewhere between the month of May and the month of December. Tuesday, more than 172,000 new cases were reported across the U.S. and there were more than 2,100 COVID-19 deaths. A New York family, meanwhile, is celebrating life this Thanksgiving after a young father almost died from COVID. TBS's Michael George has more on his story of survival. It's been eight months since Nick Falvo was so sick with COVID-19, doctors told his wife he might not make it. Just before he was put in a coma, Nick called to say goodbye. I spoke to my wife and my kids and I told them how much I loved them. My little guy said, Daddy, you're the strongest daddy I ever known. The 40-year-old was airlifted from a local hospital to Westchester Medical Center to get the care the sickest patients need. I would explain to them that this man is a father. They have to do whatever they can to keep him alive. Jackie Baldo was Nick's nurse in the trauma ICU. He was one of the first patients we saw make a turnaround. Um, so for all of us, it was kind of like a pivotal moment in the pandemic where we saw a light at the end of the tunnel. It was that reinforcement and positivity we needed to make it through another day. Nick says he couldn't have done it without her. I mean, honestly, I couldn't have done it without him. 38 days later, he left the hospital with dozens of staff, family and friends cheering. They said I was their miracle patients. Nick has had several procedures and surgeries since. One to clear the massive damage the virus did to his lungs. He's also lost the use of his left hand, possibly from how he was positioned in his hospital bed. But he says despite the long recovery, he has a lot to be grateful for. For my family, all my loved ones, but most of all, most of all, um, my wife. My wife saved my life. And um, if it wasn't for her and Nurse Jackie, uh, and the doctors at Westchester Medical, I wouldn't be here. Thankful more than ever for family and his health. Michael George, CBS News, New York.